Hi, Leo. Had to make sure the right microphone was on. Uh, welcome to your November reading. I hope you guys are doing well. November is starting off kind of slow and a little bit dragging energy um, and kind of hard to be motivated about things these days. Um, the astrology for November is rocky, just like the rest of this year has been. So if you would like to be updated on your astrology for this month, based on your rising sign, you can go check out the Patreon. I also do mid-month readings and we have classes in the universe here. We have two tiers. We have classes in the universe here that kind of just help you along the way. There's meditations. Um, we're also going to be doing some drum circles. Sorry for the glitches. Trying to buy a new computer. I'm trying to do a lot of things right now. It's a little hard. Um, yeah, so um, that's a great way to support. Also, my calendar is open for November. So if you'd like to get a reading with me, um, I have the six-month reading available. Also, um, if you want to get ahead of next year's energies. And I have a present moment astrology and tarot reading if you just want to know what the hell is going on with you right now and how to get out of a stagnant state if you're in a stagnant state. Um, because November, <clears throat> so right now, Scorpio season is just deep, you know, I mean, Scorpio season's always that season where we're having to look at ourselves under a microscope and even things with other people. Like there's a lot of aha moments I usually get in Scorpio season because there's nothing's hidden, you know, there's nothing that's hidden during Scorpio season at all. And then as we move into Sagittarius season is Sagittarius um, planets will square Saturn. And so that's going to be like, uh, like all I can think about every time I talk about it, um, all I can think about is when somebody has to stop really, really fast, they're driving fast and they have to stop really, really fast. And the tires make that sound and like the, the tires are, um, on the asphalt, like it actually like makes a tire print on the asphalt. That's what it makes me feel like. Like that's, I don't know why that is what's coming to me, but that's the energy of November <laughs> feels like as Sagittarius season approaches. So um, let's see what it is, Leo, that you guys are surrendering for woo, November. That one like blew up. Ooh, surrender your ego. Nice. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Yeah, um, surrender your ego. So when it comes to humility, some of the things like really that I've learned um, when it comes to humility and um, also still being able to advocate for yourself, right? Like, so many people don't want to be humble these days because they think that being humble means that you're getting walked all over. Um, they think that being humble means that you are just like, you don't have any boundaries and that you think that you're less than other people and that you're just not good enough. And, um, you know, I've looked up the, the actual definition in the dictionary of being humble and like, I can see where people would get that. I don't have the actual definition with me. I, didn't realize I would be talking about this, so I didn't prepare for that. But, um, but yeah, so I can see where people, you know, that you you think that you know that you're not as good as other people, or that you're below other people in some way. And I just think that being humble these days means that you're with the people, that you're not trying to be better than anybody else, because we all have a special gift. We all have something that's great about us. We all have something that's special about us, to be quite honest. And yes, you know, some people um, really want to like have that status part, right? And so your ego is the thing that really wants that status because whatever status that you want to have in life, you have that. 
like just be it just be that be, be that person be that person that you want to be in life like you don't have to have the rest of the world's approval right and you can still be humble and care for other people and do things for other people and be on the same you know it's like it doesn't mean that you have to stoop to a low vibrational angry person but it also doesn't mean that you got to be an asshole you know um so yeah it's a very fine line i think it's a very fine line leo that we we have to kind of pay attention to when it comes to our ego and humility at the same time um all right so i feel like feels like you're moving forward on something i almost want to say some of you might be changing your job um, some of you are wanting to take a trip and you're having to save money for it or you're having to wait like you really want to be able to take a trip and you're having to wait to be able to do it and but here's the thing also something is ending here This really feels like it's a job thing. I don't know who this is for, but it feels very specific. Um, I have the chariot. Sorry for the glitches. I have the page of pentacles. And the eight of pentacles. I have the ten of swords and the seven of wands. So yeah, I feel like you're on, you're ready for a new journey. I feel like you're ready to move on. That's really like literally that's what I'm hearing. And that's what I've been hearing since these first three cards, since the chariot, the page of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, I keep hearing, I'm just ready to move on. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to go the distance. I'm ready to go somewhere else. Um, and I feel like part of the reason why is because of how painful things have ended for you and how much you've had to put up boundaries for yourself, right? You may be putting up boundaries on other people, but I guarantee you, you can try and control people that way if you want to, but it doesn't work. So putting boundaries on yourself and not letting yourself, not, put, not allowing you to put yourself in bad situations that's a better one, but um, I feel like you're working your butt off to move because you're done. That's what it feels like. You're just done. You're like, I'm working my butt off. I want to, I want to start fresh. I want to start new. The page of pentacles is like the student um, and he's on a brand new journey, right? So that is a humbling, this is a humbling place to be actually. All right, let's clarify. The chariot, page of pentacles. Wow, yep. Wow, okay. Jeez Louise. Yeah, you guys, this feels like you're crushed in some way. Like, um, bottom of the deck is the devil. So you're learning some lessons in this for sure. This could really have to do with work, but it might also have to do with a relationship, um, people around you even. We have the Eight of Wands with the Chariot. Um, and this, like, I really do feel like the energy starting to pick up for you in order to allow you to move forward a little faster. Three of Swords. You may have even heard something or had a conversation with someone. You may have been planning to go on a move and then it, and then now you're not or planning on going on a vacation or traveling somewhere. 
But that three of swords there on the um, page of pentacles, like, <clears throat> I almost want to say that it feels kind of defeating. But you also know intuitively. So we have the high priestess with the eight of pentacles. Um, and so intuitively, you know, that the hard work that you're doing is moving you forward. Like it's not stagnating you. It is moving you forward. Even if it's taking a minute for it to happen. Um, and the ending taught you resilience. That's really interesting because cancer kind of got the same message. So if you're a cancer Leo, that would make sense. But cancer kind of got that same message that the whatever ending you had to go through, there's resilience there. On the seven of wands, we have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the World. So the Five of Wands is petty arguing. The Seven of Cups is confusion. And the world is the end, the closure. The cycle is ending. And I want to say that you put your boundaries up for yourself so that you don't place yourself in situations like the five of wands, right? I feel like the reason why you have to be willing to put boundaries up for yourself is so you can get through the frustration, so you can get through the, the confusion, so you allow yourself to be able to close the cycle. This feels very much like you're being forced to process something so that it can end. And I think that it's kind of muddling your mental capacity a little bit and making you a little bit confused. And you're like, I don't even know what direction to go in anymore. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm trying to move forward and I keep feeling I get blocked, 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 right? Well, Saturn is direct, right? Saturn starts direct today. And so I feel like that's going to help push things forward, but you know, it does feel very much in a lot of ways that um, you just know that this is something that you have to get through and get past and, you know, and, and allow yourself to close the cycle. I know this is really painful, like having the strength card on the Ten of Swords, like you literally came out vulnerable in your sadness and your pain and you're like it was a terrible ending but you don't have to hold on to the ending you can process it and that's what this feels like it feels like there's a processing that's happening and an ending that's happening so that you can open things up and move forward all right leo i hope you guys have a good November. I know that it's going to be a little rough and a little bumpy, but take good care of yourselves. And uh, I hope to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.